Welcome back to the stage of history. Oh man, it is, it is a good day today. Uh, the day just started. I had a load. I mean, I'm up here in uh, New Orleans, Minnesota, uh, picking up my craft load. And um, they got me waiting. Yeah, they got me waiting. So I figured since I'm waiting, I will go through <clears throat> some of the request calls that I got in. So let's see who are some of the requests that wants me to do some calls. I got one from Yolanda the Goddess, Oasis the Goddess. I got one from her. She wants me to call Western Express KLLM Boyd and Rail Transport. I already called Rail. So Rail is already done. So if you guys want to check that out, go and uh, check out Rail. <laughs> Lawn Horse Lawn Care. Wow, that's a pretty interesting name. Lawn, 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 <coughs> lawn Horse Lawn Care. All right. They want to know if I can do a call to Prime Inc. K-L-L-M. They want to know about a driver getting back into trucking. Well, I already did a call to Prime Inc. <clears throat> so, check that video out. Uh, let's see. Next is Calvin Stewart. He would like for me to make a call to K-L-L-M. He would love for me to get some Q&A to find out about their driver position. Uh, I think it's one more, I think. I got a few people that's interested in finding out about what KLMM is about. I'm calling recruiting and uh, see what they can offer. So, with that in mind, let's give KLLM a call now as always when I uh, call uh, certain places I like to inform you guys about an app alright and the app is driver wait it's loading oops driver pulse that's this app right here make sure you guys go and download this app this app would help you in your job search to help you find out which trucking company is right for you. KLLM gives you five reasons to drive with them. Uh, the first one is commitment, options, benefits, ownership, and loyalty. These KLLM drivers have covered a lot of road with us, a million miles worth of it so those are the five reasons KLLM says that you should come on board with them let's give them a call thank you for calling KLLM you may dial ahead at any time if you know your part is extension please dial it now KLLM. hey good morning how you doing today I'm good uh, may I speak with a recruiter please Thank you for calling. Hey, all I'm recruiting. Hey, good morning. How you doing today? Hey. Um, did, are you a recruiter? I am. What can I do for you? Yes, ma'am. Um, I was talking to some uh, some of the company drivers. Uh, they gave me a little bit of information about KLLM. I was just deciding to give you guys a call to see uh, see what other information I can uh, get about the company. Okay, you need a different type for your holding this moment. Transport services. Someone will be with. 
Buffalo Bay. Carolyn. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Good. How are you? Um, my name's LaShine. I was talking. Are, are you a recruiter? One moment. That is if Will assist you. Recruiting may I help you. Uh, yes, my name is Sean. Are you are you a recruiter? Yes, sir, I am. How can I help you? Oh, okay, okay. Well, I was talking to uh, you know, some of the drivers of the company, and you know, they was giving me a little bit of information about it, and I believe I put in an application in there uh, some time ago, but I'm just calling back to see if I can get some more information about uh, KLLL to see if it's uh, see if it's comfortable for me. And okay, so where do you where do you live? I'm out of Ohio, Cleveland. Okay, um, are you interested in a how much recent over the road experience do you have, sir? I have a, I have three years. Okay, um, we have a couple of different options for you. You can do over the road. Um, we'd be able to pay you if we can verify those three years would be able to pay 47 cents a mile empty and loaded delivering refrigerated freight and general commodities throughout all 48 states we don't go to new york city and we don't go to canada average mileage is 26 to 2800 miles a week you would be driving a three-year-old or newer freight line or cascadia and um for every seven days you're out, you get a day off. So our drivers stay out two to three weeks and are home two to three days. We do have a Midwest Regional that runs out of Portage, Indiana. Now this account runs from Iowa to Western Pennsylvania and then as far south as Kentucky. It's about 10 states should be running. You're out about seven days and home for about a day and a half to two days at a time. Um, do you have hazmat and tanker endorsements? Uh, no, I don't, but I, I have a few questions of my own, if you don't mind me asking. Yes, sir. All right, so um, I'm also asking for other people because I got, I, you know, I got other people that's, uh, that's interested in the companies that I'm, that I'm pretty much interested in. So this is pretty much general questions. Um, by the way, what, what's your name, ma'am? My name is Tanya. Oh, okay, Tanya. All right, cool, cool. All right, so Tanya, um, do you guys offer a um, offer CDL training? We do, but you have to reside in one of the states where we have our CDL training programs, Mississippi, Texas, and Illinois at this time. Oh, okay. Is where we're taking students. Oh, yes, oh, okay, okay. So, so if. For a person, for a person like me, let's say I'm a new, uh, new person that's that's going into that, I, I would have to stay in those states. So Ohio is not, I I I can't come out of Ohio to go to school with you guys. No, sir, not at this time. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, what are the hiring areas? What other hiring areas other than Ohio that you guys offer? Um, well, we primarily hire out of every state. We don't do company positions out of a few of the northern states, mm -hmm. um, like Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. Now, that's for company drivers, and we also have a lease purchase program available as well. Okay, okay. What? Uh, where, where's the main terminal located at? Corporate, loca corporate offices in Jackson, Mississippi. Okay, so if I was to come on to orientation, um, I, I will be routed to, uh, you say, Jackson, Mississippi? If, if you do a company position, we could get you an orientation at our Chicago location. If you do lease purchase, you'd have to come to Mississippi. Oh, okay. Is there a sign-on bonus? And if so, how much and how is it paid out? Uh, $5,000, it's good through the end of next month. It's paid out 2500 the week after orientation and then 2500 in 30 days. Oh, okay. That's a pretty quick payout. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. So, all right. So, you know, I'm, I'm talking with other companies as well and, you know, trying to find out, you know, if they're comfortable for me. Let's say if I talk to Knight. 
all right and night off you you started off by saying that you guys offer 47 cent let's say night offer me uh 49 cent would you guys be able to match that no sir um that's what our company pay is based at because it's experience based and we wouldn't be able to budge on that unfortunately okay do you guys uh require a hair follicle test for pre-employment drugs drug screening we do okay and also do you guys require an, an agility test uh, if you don't know some people don't know what i mean by that but like, I, I do, oh, no, okay. sir. We don't. Okay, okay. Uh, what's your policies on felons? Um, every application is reviewed individually. It would not be necessarily a disqualifier. The whole application would be reviewed in its entirety, and uh, safety and compliance would review that and make a decision. Very good. All right, so you already told me where I will be going for orientation. You mentioned lease purchase, though. Why Why would I have to come to the uh, main office for lease purchase for orientation? Because, yes, sir, that's where all of our lease trucks are located. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let me let me stay with leasing, for example. What's y'all, what's y'all leasing program? Okay, it's a no credit check, no down payment, 100% walk away lease. You'd have the opportunity to lease 16 and 17 freight line or Cascadia's. It's a no credit check, no down payment, 100% walk away lease. Mm -hmm. You get a two week grace period on that initial note, which runs between 470 and 550 a week, mm -hmm. depending on the model truck you choose. Um, no balloon note at the end of the lease, you're going to buy the truck from us for $1. 99.9% mm -hmm. .9 no touch freight. I can, I can email you this. It's a lot of information. Um, we do reimburse 100% per reaper fuel and lumper fees. These trucks are governed at 70 miles an hour. And um, if you do it over the road, it's no force dispatch. Pick and choose your loads. Pick and choose your home time. We do have some other set expenses like your highway use tax, 10.57 a week, Qualcomm e-log charges at 19, and um, the insurance on the truck is going to run between 102 and 175 a week. That covers trailer liability, occupational accident, physical damage, and bobtail. And um, I can send you the information for that for the Midwest Regional, and then there's a customer dedicated account for Tyson Foods. Okay. And I can send you that information as well. Very good. Um, what's your e yes, um, What's your email address? Well, orientation. Uh, you get paid for orientation, and how long is orientation for both? It's Monday through Monday through Friday, and we pay five hundred dollars for that. We'll get you a bus ticket here, get you a private hotel room, and provide breakfast and lunch for you while you're with us for orientation. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, you just mentioned that you'll provide the transportation, but let's say uh, for whatever reason I don't make it through orientation, would I have, would I have, uh, would you guys provide transportation for me to get back home? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, that's good. That's very good. All right. Uh, all right. So, I got a, I got a question for uh, for like newbies. All right. So, if a new if a new driver come out of out of school, uh, of course they're gonna get with a with a trainer. How long is that? How long is that training time with with a trainer? How long is they out with a trainer? Um, six weeks. Six weeks. How long is the wait? Mm -hmm. How long's the wait time for a trainer? Like when they actually get finished with the orientation and they have to wait for a trainer. How long is the wait time for a trainer? We don't we don't have any wait time. Oh, okay. Um Yes, sir. What's the pay doing training? Seventy three dollars and fifty seven cents a day. Okay. Um how much experience do that typical do do y'all do your typical do? How much experience do your typical trainer has? I don't, sir, I don't deal with trainers. I, I don't know the answer to that. Now oh, okay. I can get you over to the training department. No, no, no. That's you. <laughs> after the newbie is finished uh, with their with their training. Are they forced to team after they finish training? No. Oh, okay. No. All right. So the cent per mile you says is forty seven cent. Is that forty seven cent? straight pay 
or is that 47 cent in conjunction with uh with uh incentives they do they do have some incentives um they have safety bonuses um and things like that that you would probably qualify for in order you know to get to get more pay okay but is that is that is that included with is that included the 47 cent that you mentioned or that 47 cent is my starting pay with with no incentives? 47 would be yeah that would be your starting pay okay okay all right is pay based on straight miles or is there a sliding scale with you guys um for company drivers it's just gonna be straight pay all right you say for company drivers so there's a but in mm -hmm. there so lease, lease purchase is on a sliding scale oh okay you all <laughs> yes sir yes sir <laughs> okay uh per diem is it offered and is it mandatory they do have per diem pay um i'm gonna have to check it out for you and see how much it is because i don't know right off the top of my head okay Hang on for me just a moment. Yeah. Thank you for holding. It is $63 a day for your per diem pay, and it is mandatory. It is mandatory. Okay, okay. It is. Uh, do you guys offer vacation and holiday pay? After you've been with us a year, you get a week's paid vacation, two or more years, two weeks paid vacation. Okay. That paid vacation, how much is it? Sir, I don't know. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't, <laughs> but you I know don't that, have any idea. We know that we get it done. Do you guys offer breakdown pay and detention pay? They do. They do. Detention pay $10 an hour after the first three hours up to $100 a day. Okay. How often layover pay I'm, after the first twenty four hour pay period. Okay. I was just about to ask you that. How how often do layovers <laughs> happen? Yeah, that's what's up. Um all right, so do you now you mentioned hazmat when we first started talking. Do you guys require hazmat? We don't, but we do have some temperature control hazmat loads. We do haul spray paint batteries pharmaceuticals, household cleaning items, things of that nature, and that pays you an additional $25 to pick up, $25 to drop. Okay. So if I don't have my hazmat and I go and while I'm driving for you guys and I decide to go and get my hazmat, would you guys reimburse mm -hmm. me for my hazmat? No, sir, we will not. Okay. Alright. So you already mentioned about the miles. Uh, how many miles an average driver can uh, average a week? You said something about 2,700 or something like that? 25 to 2,800, yes, sir. Okay. What are some other lanes that you guys have available other than the ones well, you, you mentioned mid, already? Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, over the road, the Midwest Regional, and then that Tyson dedicated, that customer account that runs the east of I-35. Okay. Are all miles paid for, and how is it calculated? Um, zip to zip, household mover miles, and um, what was the other question? Uh, how is it calculated? I mean, they just do zip to zip, and that, that's how they do it to pay you. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Do you guys reimburse for tolls and scales? We do reimburse for scales, tolls, and permits. Now, that's on the um, that's on the lease side, so company, you wouldn't have to worry about that. We've okay. got pre-pass and easy pass. Okay. What's the percentage of dropping hooks there? Um, we do. I mean, we have a lot of dropping hooks, and we have a lot of um, live load and unload. But I don't have the percentage for you. Okay, that's cool. All right. So, home time, right? You said uh, for every seven days that we're out, we get one day home. Can you elaborate on a home time policy for me? As a company driver, you're out two to three weeks, home two to three days. 
and then on the Midwest, um, you're out. <laughs> 7 days home for a day and a half to 2 days at a time and then on the Tyson dedicated you're out about 2 to 3 weeks home 2 to 3 days Okay. and it just depends on when you put your request in as to when you'll be getting home okay what's the uh, what's the maximum amount of days I can take off so for like emergencies and stuff like that uh, what's the maximum amount of days that I can take off and what is the policy if I if I exceed those maximum days okay uh, on the company side they don't want you taking off more than about four to five days and uh, then you'll just you know have to get with your dispatcher they may you know flip your truck to somebody else um, if they think you're not going to be coming back um, but with those policies and stuff, you will just, you know, have to basically speak to um, those different departments when you get here for orientation in order for them to clarify that information for you, sir. Very good, very good. All right, so if I'm working for you guys, how many more drivers I got to share with my fleet manager? I don't have that um, information, sir. I mean, we are one of the top carriers in the nation, the refrigerated carriers. Mm -hmm. We've been in business for over 50 years. We're a good, solid company. We've got, you know, dispatchers and load planners to handle the amount of uh, drivers they have in their fleet in order to get them adequately dispatched out on loads where they can make a good living at. Okay, okay. What's your pet and rider policy? No pets on a company truck. And a uh, passenger has to be 12 years old or older, and you'd have to carry that rider insurance. It costs less than $20 a month. All right. All right. So you mentioned earlier in our conversation that you guys don't go to New York City, but is there is there forced dispatch to California? If you're a company driver, um, it's primarily forced dispatch, so you would have to go where your dispatcher sent you, and California is a state we do run to. Okay. All right, so I'm driving with you guys, and for whatever reason, I decide to quit. Uh, what is the policy for turning in the truck? Um, sir, they'll go over that with you in orientation. I don't specifically have the policies, but, you know, if you abandon the truck, it will be reflected on your DAC, and um, but basically, you know, you just turn your truck in to... Uh, you know, one of our terminals and um, let your dispatcher and let the safety department know so you can turn it in correctly per company policy. Okay, okay. So, so you wouldn't know, like, for example, if I decide to quit and I do decide to bring my truck into one of the, one of the uh, terminals, let's say if I decide to empty drive or anything like that, I, I, I won't get hit with nothing on, I mean, with an abandonment on my DAC report if I turn it into well, a terminal? Well, I tell you what, in all actuality, I cannot confirm nor deny whether that would be policy since I don't handle it. Mm -hmm. But I tell you what, you get your application in, let me see if I can get you qualified. But if you're anticipating quitting before you get here, I'm not sure if it's going to be a good fit for you. I got uh, you. Check out that email. Yes, sir. I've got three other calls hold. Review that. Right. If you've got any questions, let me know, okay? Well, I, I only have a few more questions. It's basically about the truck. I mean, I, I could speed it up. I mean, okay. I mean, I'm, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm calling so I can see if it, if it is. That's why I got the questions, so that I can see yes, if it sir. is a good, you know, if it is a good fit for me. Uh, well, okay. basically, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll speed it up. Um, all right. So, what uh, what equipment? What truck? The trucks that you have. What equipments do you have? Do you guys offer? Okay, we're you, as a company driver, you'd be driving a three-year-old or newer Freightliner Cascadia. Now, these trucks do not come equipped with any inverters in them, refrigerators, or anything. You would have to get that that installed. Okay. So I was that was gonna be my next question. For driver comfort, do you guys offer amenities inside the truck? And pretty much you just said no. Um, do you yes, guys sir. do you guys offer a drive oh well not offer, but do you guys have drive cams inside your trucks? Okay, our cameras face outward. They don't they don't face the driver, you know, in the truck. They they do face outward. 
Okay. What what are the trucks? Uh, well, company trucks, because you already mentioned for the lease uh, trucks. But what are the company trucks uh, governed at? They are governed at sixty two miles an hour. All right. Well, I guess my last question for you, uh, so you can get off the phone. Um, what's the number one reason to drive for KLLM? Um, like I said earlier, sir, we are a very established refrigerated carrier in the United States. We've been in business over 50 years. We're very driver oriented. Uh, you'll be known by name here, not a, you know, not a truck number. And, um, you know, we've got the freight for you to make the money. If you want to just put that app in and let's see what we can do for you, I'll be happy to process it. All right. All right. Well, Tanya, what, Tanya, Tanya. Okay. Tanya, yes, well, th thank you very much for your time. Um, let me just uh, let me just say and offer my condolences for one of your drivers, uh, Miss Kamisha Thomas. Um, I would like to extend my whole heart condolences to uh, to you guys and to her family as well. Thanks for taking the yes, time. Uh, thanks for thanks for taking the time and uh, getting with me on um, on this and uh, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, well, thank you very much for calling. I hope to work with you in the future, sir. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. And there you have it. K-L-L-M. Klim, or however you want to call it. That's uh, the information for you guys. It feels kind of rushed. You guys tell me in the comments below what you what you guys think of that call. But it feels kind of rushed to me. Uh, she she gave some good information about company drivers and lease purchase. But I don't know. It just it just it just felt rushed, you know. At one point of the at one point of the call, she was um, she was telling me that she wanted to just send the email out to me, and I can read over the email. And if I have any questions, I can I can call her back. But that's the point of the call, you know, so that I can I don't know learn about the company before I get into it, before I fill out the application I think that's the point you know what I'm saying I don't know it's I don't know I don't know it's just it just feels kind of rush I guess but anyway that's it that's it if you guys have any questions for me to ask the recruiters definitely leave it in the comments below and if you guys have any companies you guys want me to call, leave that in the comments below. Until then, I will get back with you with another call video per your request. So let me know who you guys want to hear from. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I guess just to reiterate on the call that I had with the young lady, you guys let me know what you guys think of that call. And if any KLLM drivers out there um, that drives for the company, if you guys like to, you know, share your experience with, you know, potential drivers out here, let me know in the comments below, all right? So, KLLM, what you guys think? Uh, thanks to Tanya for the information that she given us. Um, and that's it. I don't have nothing else to say, man, until the next episode. Who's next?